coming down since your lanes in Jesus' name. Yeah. One forty four. Coming down, switching lane. Right now, can we service, man? Coming down, switching lane. Right now, can we service, service? Coming down, switching lane. Right now, can we service, man? Coming down, switching lane. Right now, can we service? Why we coming down and I was switching lane? Four deep in that Chevy thing. My check spin on that limo tent. Them soul whoops in that Mary Jane. Hello guys, how you doing? <laughs> uh, welcome to today's Ray's Fix a Lot. Fix a fix. Hold um, on, I think I Hello guys. Welcome to today's Ray Fix Stuff. Fix a lot. Sponsored by Helping Hand Commercial Time. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna be putting on some spark plugs on a 2012 uh Hyundai Elantra Limited 1.8 liter. Um, which is, is uh, very simple. And um, so you're going to need the, the NGK um, Iridium laser spark plugs, right? So uh, they come pre gap. Uh, you just get them, you don't have to gap them or nothing. Um, the good thing, come a little closer. The good thing about these. Uh, these Hyundai's is the spark plugs are sitting right on top. This is just a four cylinder. So you just wanna grab this and pop it on and off. It's gonna pop right out of there. All right. Your spark plugs are right here, right here, and right here, and right here. Only thing you're gonna need is a extension with your 5.8 spark plug socket. Uh, I think this is a 10. Yep, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, uh, three eight socket, not a three a three eight ratchet, which are um, which are extension and your spark plug socket, and there's ten. So you're gonna take this off first, of course. This is your um, your spark plug. Um, okay. And these are really easy to do. The, the great thing is that it's on top of the engine. If it was um, on the backside of the engine, no. If it was on the backside of the engine, of course it would be harder to do. So you just pull this on out of here and then you have access to your spark plug. Just make sure you don't got a lot of debris and a lot of stuff. Don't let a lot of stuff blow down in there or anything blow down in there. Um, so yeah, now I'ma take my my spark plug um, socket, put it down in there. Now what I like to do is put it down in there and put it on there first. Don't just put it down in there and just be turning everywhere. You break some strip, some or tear something up. But put it down in there, get get a good feel on it, so you know it's on there. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Then you can take it on now. So. It's coming one of these days. Now guys, it's recommended that you change your spark plugs every 30,000 miles. And there we go. So the reason we're changing this because I changed them not too long ago, probably, well, it might've been a little over a year, but I didn't put the top of the line ones in there. And when we cranked the car, it was still kind of, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we went ahead and changed them. That's why we changed them. 
So, and your spark plug socket gonna have that, that rubber grommet down in there, okay? We're gonna take our new one out. Now, when you with these spark plugs, you don't want to, uh, you don't want this hitting anything because you'll mess it up. So we're gonna stick our new one in there. Now, the same way that I did before, where I showed you, you you want to put it down in there and just turn it with your hands so you don't strip anything. That's how we're gonna put it back in there. So you wanna be careful, just put it straight down in there, turn it real gently. And it should start going down. You don't wanna turn it real hard. It'll tighten up eventually to where I'm gonna put the ratchet on it. Okay, see now, as tight as I can get it with my hand, I'm gonna put the ratchet on it. All right, that's good. Now you can look up the torque spec on those spark plugs, but I don't really think it's, if you if you really just uh, a novice, you know, um, then I would suggest you go ahead and look up the torque spec for the spark plugs. You don't want to over type it, strip nothing, tear nothing up. So we got that on. Now we're gonna put our uh, our ignition coil back on. Right? Just put it right back down in there. Get our little bolt <clears throat> that we took out. Put that back on. Now remember, like I said, the, the the when you do buy your spark plugs, you want to make sure that they that they're uh, you know ask them wherever you go to if it's if they're pre-gapped. If, if they're not pre-gapped, you're gonna have to gap them. They should be able to tell you the the gap specs for the spark plug. So we got that back on. That's one cylinder done. Then we're just gonna repeat that for the other three, and that's it. Now you know how to change your spark plug. Remember, it's recommended every 30,000 miles. It'll help your car run more efficiently, efficiently and you will get uh, great gas mileage, okay? That's your tip for this week, for this day, and I'm out of here. I'll change the rest of them.